Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 5th of August 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, step out of that spiritual closet onto your spiritual path and take control of your destiny in the here and now. Now this week we're going to be using the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, if you're thinking about uh, connecting with angels, the angelic realms, then I'm going to be running um, Angelic Reiki workshops, starting again with Angelic Reiki 1 and 2 on the 15th and 16th of September, it could be the 14th or 15th, the weekend of, um, the, of that September, 14th, 15th, 15th and 16th. Um, so if you're interested in learning Angelic Reiki, then please do your own contact me and I can send you details um, about that. It's an amazing um, modality, really helps you grow spiritually, um, I've learned so much and I've really developed on my spiritual path um, working with it. So do check it out. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 5th of September 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good the week commenced in the 5th of August 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know if their high is good? The week commencing the 5th of August 2024. Okay. Oh, we'll definitely go with that one that's um, fallen down. We'll see what other two cards want to come out at the moment. Okay. So the card that um, jumped out was Butterfly Maiden, Transformation. You're experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings, which really um, tunes into the energies that we're feeling with this new moon in Leo, the Lionsgate portal coming up. Sulis, bodies of water, spend time near water, such as the lake, river or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Isn't that gorgeous card? And M, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Oh my God, how perfect are these cards? Okay, so what the angels are saying to you is that there, you know, there's lots of transformation taking place um, um, with you at the moment. So not just around you, but in your physical self, itself in your mental your spiritual self there are big big changes you know you're increasing your light capacity you're increasing your energy you're moving more onto that higher dimensional um, line now and of course that can feel scary especially when when changes take place that don't seem like uh, the changes are like love and light they seem a little bit darker uh, darker and ickier but that's fine because they are changes that are meant to be happening. As you transform and you transform your energy, you transform the energy of those around you and their energy starts to change as well. So they start releasing all the negative icky stuff about them. So embrace the transformation, the change that is happening. It's like the butterfly, you know, you're now coming out of that cocoon. Um, things are really going to um, shape up for you. You just have to trust and know that everything is happening and that there are great blessings coming in for you. And if you get a chance this week, you know, try and spend some time near water, um, whether that's a river, a sea, a lake. But always, obviously, always be careful um, if you do decide to go swimming. Um, even a paddling pool in your garden um, or drinking copious amounts of water. Just sort of like spend time in that um, in that energy. Maybe you know you know take time to have a ritual bath or a ritual shower rather than just a quick one. Just take time to recharge your batteries. 
to allow the emotions that may be coming up because of all this transformation taking place to um, dissolve and release themselves as, the, as they leave you um, and they leave your, en your energy field, you know. And this is, the, you know, the Leo um, new moon, you know, fire, passion, you know, take that chance. What have you got? What have you got to lose? You know, if it's your true heart's desire, then take that leap of faith. Take that jump. Do what lights you up, what gives you passion. Maybe it's a new project you've wanted to do. Maybe it's a new person you want to, you want to speak to. Whatever it is, take the risk. If you're doing it from your place of your heart and with love, there is no wrong way of doing this. The universe will always have your back and it can help you with your transformation to transform into this beautiful being that is your birthright, which is, you know, who and what you are at this moment in time. So, yeah, that's really that's really all they're saying. Short and sweet there um, this week. And it really ties in with the new moon energy, the Leo energy, the Lionsgate energy, you know, of bringing in change, taking the risk, bringing in that passion, allowing change to happen, that transformation to create the most perfect life for not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. Embrace it. So anyway, this was my interpretation of the cards. Now you may see the cards and get a completely different interpretation. And that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good at this moment in time. So if you do get a different message, you know, then please do let me know um, whether that's in the comments or you message me privately. I always reply to everyone who answers me. Uh, maybe there's a, one card that stands out that you want to meditate on. That is absolutely fine. So the cards that came out again were Butterfly Maiden, Transformation, you're experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Don't worry about all the energy shifts, all the changes, the transformations. They are great blessings. Sulis, bodies of water, spend time near water such as lakes, river or the ocean to recharge your batteries. And if you can't get to those, a bath or a shower, or maybe listen to water music. And obviously do drink plenty of water. And am leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. What are you passionate about? What is it you want to bring into your life? Now is the time to do it. So I hope you enjoyed that card reading. Um, and don't forget to take, um, uh, you know, use this energy this week. Um, you've got until the 12th of August to bring new things into your life, that passion, that fire to do what you really want. You know, we've got the Lionsgate portal um, on the on the 8th and it's going to be an 888. So if you've got things planned, go and enjoy them. If you haven't, um, you know, then listen to guided meditations. I have one on Insight Timer and YouTube. Um, where we can, where we celebrate Lionsgate together. Um, there are many other guided meditations. I'm personally going to a sound bath, a crystal sound bath, the little horse yard in Horton Kirby. So that's where I'm going to spend in my Lionsgate. But there's so many people doing so many things. Take the time, celebrate. It's a brilliant time. And of course, don't forget to check out everything I have to offer especially if you're interested in learning angelic reiki and connecting more with the angels you don't have to do all the workshops to become a practitioner or a teacher you can just do the first um, workshop or the first two workshops and never become a practitioner but just use it for your own spiritual growth healing um, and to help others around you in your family friends etc and don't forget to check out my show Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, is taking place on Monday the 5th. If you're watching this on Monday the 5th, then it's taking place at 8pm UK time. And my guest is the lovely Charlotte Schwebeck. Schwebeck. Um, I can't, I've not been able to pronounce her surname. And, so, and I have apologised to her uh, with that. But do check out the show. Really looking forward to that conversation. And have a wonderful week. And enjoy the Lionsgate and the Leo energy. Take care. Bye.